This playthrough is rated E10+. Plus. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Shiny Force CD. In the last episode, we took uh, Mayfair and Stock's suggestion to head to Bazoo's Tower to get some more information about what's going on in Cyphers and what we need to do about that. So we head on to Bazoo's Tower, I mean Bazoo, and uh, he's threatening us uh, with, with danger if we get up there, so we're going to have to take it to the old man. So before we go on, just make sure that everyone's equipped with whatever. Uh, I mean, there's really not much else I can really add to this other than... All right, let's get rid of the that. Now, do I want to get go ahead and give uh, take off the... Because the agility reduces... Uh, there's only three. So he wouldn't be... Maybe give it to Stock or Mayfell just so they can get their turns faster. There is a slight um, thing with agility that if you have a higher agility, you'll get your turn a little bit faster. Um... Just trying to think if it should be Mayfair or Stock, just because they. Uh, I mean, I could do it like another character, just have them like have really high agility. But all right, wait, wait, wait. Let's get rid of that ring. I just quit it at the time because I didn't want to mess with like moving it about. So. Yeah, <laughs> and you can tell the game is important at certain times because it shows defense as the main defense and attack is like the most important features. But it's like, but this thing does agility. Let's go ahead and give it to Stock, because I think Agility does somewhat affect, um, oops, I pressed them off, but, uh, I think Agility does somewhat affect, like, dodging as well as, uh, bonus attacks, uh, but I couldn't remember that. Just so you can get your turns faster. There we go. Oh, it's actually five, uh, five Agility. Uh, for some reason I thought it was three, so... But anyway, all right, cool. And we also did we we also equipped the, your power axe, right? As well. Yeah, see, it went from 35 to 41, so he's definitely gonna be up to another contender for damage. All right, that's it. All right, let's get out of here. Back to the battle. And obviously, we don't have to sit here. I did the conversation before, so. And Bazoo only moves. As far as I understand, he only moves one slot per uh, per turn. So, okay. So we got Arch Knights, uh, new enemies, Arch Knights. They can do boost. They'll probably never cast it, but they can do that. Uh, more skeletons with milk herbs, which is weird that the undead would have medical herbs, because shouldn't it not work on them? But we're not going by Dungeon Dragon logic. We're going by uh, uh, Shiny Force logic, which is all types of crazy. Uh, more boost. I don't remember. I, I think there's a couple items in this map, and I'm not talking about the... Uh, 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 the salt shell, which is an upgrade for your ranged uh, sh either um, shade or uh, stock. And I guess where there was like another item we could get. Unless I was thinking of another battle where that happens. I guess it is. Huh. I guess where salt shell was not the only thing we got. But all right, let's just look at the map. Oh, that's right. There's a couple of hide a couple of people hiding. That's right. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, nothing for, oh yeah, they also have boost, but they're not gonna utilize it. So I guess it's only a salt shell. Okay. All right, well, let's get everyone moving. Obviously, claw like before can just skip this hole. Yeah, see how fast, uh, how close stock got his turn? Because like, uh, let's see, seventeen. Okay, so there's there might be some minor like alterations when it comes to like agility levels, but I think higher agility characters have higher chances of getting their turns next when it comes to the inline like turn order being changed. I don't know if you can get I don't remember if you can get so many turns that you are so much high agility that you can get overlapped by other characters. I think there was a case in I think it was in the second game where that happened. Like it was either a boss character or something like that where they went before another character who hadn't even gotten their turn. But in most cases I guess maybe when I'm thinking about the secondary item, I'm thinking the uh, in this game, I'm thinking maybe the skeletons. Um, let's see, in this case, it'll be in a, this will be another level of us um, splitting up the party. Don't you know? You never split the party. Put the healers in the back and keep the fighters helping the party. There's some power or something. So one of those like random songs on the internet. 
first first go, I guess. You're gonna be a type of the range mate. Ow. Um so just a level by the end of this should be fourteen, but we're probably not gonna get that without like egressing, but I'm not like I'm not too pumped to do that, you know. Like sometimes I'll I'll be pumped to do grinding, but if I just did like a lot like with Mayfair and Stock the like the previous uh, okay. I didn't expect him to like get so close, but he missed, so wasn't ready, ready for Claw to get attacked, you know. Yeah, we're just gonna have to blaze to you and everything. Oh yeah, it didn't show Bazoo's uh, stats yet. But we'll, I'll show that here, so. Probably when we get closer. Yeah, all the range characters are gonna just one shot all the all the enemies. Oh that's right, he has a I gotta give the power screen on this episode. <laughs> oh yeah, this guy. Oh no, I was thinking of the, um, the loaders, the brass loaders. Oh, well there's two attacks. In, in the actual combat, I'm glad for two attacks, but from a person who's like wanting to, uh, you know, Rate, uh, like get his levels up and everything like that. That's almost like a ah, because I'm you know, less experienced. If you, have, cause it's, you don't get double experience for like attacking twice or anything like that. So. I didn't realize skeleton does such high move. Yeah, let me guess. You're gonna physically hit him, even though your physical attack is like nothing. It's nothing, absolutely nothing. Which is what you're about to become. Wait for those Pegasus guys. Come on down. Da -da 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 yeah, I love you. Never done. Not a lot of experience at this point. So much damage you do. Yes. <laughs> Very nice, Roos. Let me give someone else a. Some experience in that Just to divvy out a little bit more. Alright, the way you want to uh, suggest to display the party is that um, since, uh, since you're going to be fighting more dudes this way, probably put your more powerful groups if you're going to be doing that. But that's up to you, however you want to do it. And obviously, split. Things up and like you know, even out fighters, range attack, and all that. But uh, I think I, yeah, I think I'll do that. And you're not even a threat anymore, skeletons. You were previously, but not even. Oh yeah, you're at 13. I'll, I'll let someone else get the get to level 13. I can afford to have a character not fight at this point. This is how we're not going to major danger. Range of danger. We need to go too far. Even though I'm giving the other group way, way too many healers. 
I'm sorry, I was, I was just trying to think of something to say, but I was like, what's oh, really add here? Oh yeah, we have to be careful about, uh, may wait for the, uh, Kray has high attack power, but like really crappy defense. There for you to take a couple of hits. Oh come on, man! Really? Well, sure you can probably finish finish him off. I actually have enough uh, room to get over to that really good finish or I can punch him. <laughs> I always forget like what my Yeah, we can always heal him too if I really want to. Weirdly enough, boost uh, does maybe it, actually it might be higher level boost, but boost doesn't give us crazy amount of experience as it did in the second game. I wonder if they uh, toned down how much experience it got. Because when you do boost level two or boost level one, even when I hit everyone, it only gives them like um, it only gives me like twenty nine experience or something like that. But then again, in the previous game, I think it was like boost two, I hit everyone with, and it would give me like. 49 experience, so maybe I just need to get to boost level 2. It just didn't seem like it was giving out, out as much potent experience as it did, but I'm just probably misremembering it. Now. Yeah, if I can get at least everyone to level 13, I think I'll be more than satisfied. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. I don't know if I'll finish off the other one. Like I said, I thought it was actually good. Yeah, having such high levels kind of uh, reduces a lot of the the risk in this game really when you think about it. <laughs> I guess if I wanted this to be more challenging, I probably could have done maybe the stream strategy, but set everyone to uh, um, um, uh, super hard mode or whatever it's called. Very good. And of course you still can't do anything great. Did I miss like sh accidentally like, skip over Shade's turn or something like that? Because I swear he hadn't spent his turn yet. Anyway, you got a I think you missed your turn. I think someone skipped over you or something like that. Everyone's hitting that. Aw, oh, that was a that was a weak level, man. Although I think the game expects you to, to like promote our characters already. I think that's why. Oh, that's what he's doing. He's running away back to back to base. He's like, run away. Play the, 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 the get eventually. Oh, I guess Mizu can move more than one space. It just seemed like he was um, only moving like one spot every time. Oh, that's how it indicates you have a, a buff on. In the upper right corner, there's like a little blue block there. Um, and that's not on Shade's thing. So, yeah, that's how it indicates your buff. Huh. Interesting. I guess I gotta hit him for that damage, but there's no guarantee that'll hit. As far as I know, magic is always guaranteed to hit. 
Unless there's like some weird boss mechanic that he can dodge lightning or something like that, you know? Now, if you want to do that, you have to drink bolt energy or whatever the drink was called. You'll shoot lightning! Let's get everyone. Yeah, boost. At least boost lasts more than like one turn, unlike some of their strategy games I've played before. What's that you say? You want an ability that messes with your stats but only lasts that turn? That's silly, you say. No, it's true. I heard of a game that does stuff like that. I think there's more than just that game. I just that's one of the things I like to make fun of it for. Oops, everyone's twelve, twelve, twelve. Yeah, the easiest opportunity to get a, some experience on like holding off because I want to get at least everyone to just get everyone another level. And just keep moving forward. I'll hold off on my 13 killing. Oh, right, we gotta worry about you. Okay. What's the best? Alright, you're moving closer to the way I want you to move. Actually, I'll Mayfair heal you later. Because we have to be careful about the zoo there. Just because of what he can do. He's your typical, like, nasty boss who can. Battle a lot of damage if you're not careful. I have to have an uh, Apis separate just so we don't. Uh... Well, then again, I, I just moved Bruce in, so I'm just going to probably take the uh, level 3 Blaze to the face. To the face! Oh, no, we decided to move back up. Cool. Really good fly, but I don't want to use the spell on that. It's probably time to start moving everyone up and separating them. Eh, yeah, not by much, really. But that one. Get more power, get more heals. And we'll start the spacing right now. Let's see what we're doing. I surprised you out there. Just came on down and charged us with a spell. Eh, mages know what's up. You're not supposed to move to the front line as a wizard. Prey, Claude, and... Prey, Claude, Mayfair. I just don't want to. I just don't want, want, want to move it too far forward, though. I mean, you're going to blaze three S, but we can both survive a hit like that. Oh yeah, pretty, oh I guess I could actually show his stats off now that we're actually pretty close to him. So obviously he has a unique moniker. He has the bolt spell, which is a pretty nasty bit of magic. He also has the attack spell, but I'd never seen him cast it when I played it like so many years ago. It's just like like I said, they almost never buffed themselves or debuff or anything like that. But yeah, he has a decent amount of HP, a lot of MP, so he can keep casting that bolt spell. We'll see how much the bolt costs, like 
is it eight or twelve or something like that? So that's why. But uh, yeah, really, the challenge with him is to basically get everyone to a point and then just bum rush them if you don't want to get attacked by like um, attacked by all like his bolt magic and everything like that. But yeah, I knew he was gonna do that, but oh, well. at least it costs ten. So and he usually doesn't cast it twice, weirdly enough. Since uh, physically these guys can't hurt me that much. Oh, well, there you go. I wasn't expecting that twice. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, if you beat, uh, uh... Oh, who, uh... Oh, he got the assault shell. I was like, you know, I just realized I actually ki ended up killing the the the, 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 the Pegasus Knight, and I was like, wait a minute, who actually got the assault? Because it didn't tell me I got it, so... I think it only does it if you physically attack him. Um, if you don't, it doesn't uh, show off the... I guess I'll have Kray, uh, go over there and get the assault and show it off again. Or, I mean, give it, yeah, I'll give it to Even though technically I probably should give it to Shade. But. Yeah, Trying to get those other guys down there. get the most experience and money out of this. So I put that oh, yeah. oh, I think I think it's an upgrade item. Um, yeah, it won't let me equip it, so I need to be I need to be the next. Um, give you. Let me go and give you. Oh wait, no, I can actually do it. Um, yeah, we're fine. Okay. Yeah, we can't. Uh, we can't put it until we upgrade to the next uh, level. Obviously with Bolt. Luckily Bolt is only a cross shape formation, so so as long as you space out your characters correctly, you won't um, you won't get like five or you won't get four characters severely damaged by and by. Yeah, might as well make a nice if you will. I don't want to shade it again. Okay, go after Apis even though clearly clearly the range or clearly the archer is the biggest target. It's for those. It's 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 a way for. What do you? Oh, you actually do cast one, huh? I've never seen him do that before. That's a first for me, huh? Yeah. Does that not look like his actual character model? Like that? Just that look. It looks like he's wearing a mask in combat. But uh, huh? Oh, yeah. It might be a case where we just have to kind of take the. Okay. Yeah, it's like I'm not gonna be able to get everyone at a. Because uh, who does it have? It's like. It's like, yeah, Wendy, Gray, Mayfair don't have that yet. Crazy how much damage that guy does. And of course, yeah, we don't get boss music unless he's the one attacking, so. For those who want the precious boss theme, we don't have to get it. And of course, you. you. Damn. Yeah, I was actually kind of surprised that he cast, um, attack on this on, him, on his part it didn't do it didn't add much to it but you know. 
Uh, I keep moving away. Uh, okay, fine. I'll just heal someone down here. There we go. That way I can give you some experience. Uh, keep moving everyone away so I can't, I can't have her actually physically attack anyone. No way. She was close enough to 13. Yeah, one and everything. I'll, I'll take that. You're gonna physically attack me? Okay. You can cast Bolt, you know. I, I, I'm just, just letting you know, you can cast Bolt. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, may, like I said, maybe it's the, if the AI was set to Hardy would. That just seems a bit of, a bit weird. Yeah, I know. I know. I shouldn't be doing this. But I'm gonna have the last. Not even gonna have the last. Uh, oh, come on. None of my characters are close enough to do anything. The ones I want. Right. Hope he doesn't die. I don't think he's. Okay. I think he does like play. I thought it did more damage than that for some reason. Um. Even though I shouldn't be putting everyone together, but we're he can't heal himself and he doesn't have any items, so we're he's pretty much done yet at this point. Oh my gosh. Can't let you do anything. Alright, fine. Craig, you get in there. Yep, now you're gonna do that. And we get to hear the awesome boss. easily get that light by healing someone next turn or something like that. So, how about a little fire, Scarecrow? Ah. Nice. No! I will honor my promise! Nick almost talked there. The truth is, Nick, we were looking for you! What? Me? Why me? I'm just an amnesiac boy from, the, from nowhere. But you found me instead. Waldo, take me out of here. Wait, you can just do that? Wah! Nick, you and I will meet again in Cyphers. Oh, man. oh he's I've got another type of teleport. A teleport circle thingy. Well, that was interesting. What do you mean that they were looking for me, though? Nick, what are they? What was that they were all about? Because didn't they find me on a beach or something like that? Like, they just found me? So... Hey, who's this? Do we have to destroy you? Or you're a, a, a character who's going to join us. Spoilers. Um. Free. I'm finally free. I'm Yisha. I'm Age. But Zua had me sealed inside a spell. I want to help you. May I come along? I owe my life. I... Okay, I mean, I guess yo, you're alive. It's just I kind of wish there was a, I kind of wish some of the characters in the game had a bit more like the way they join you is a bit more. I don't know. She kind of just walks up the tower and finds us, you know. We should have found her in the jail or something like that. Hey, anyway, whatever. Nick, what are you doing here, Nick? Hey, what, 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 she knows me, Nisha. Yes, excuse me, Nisha. Do you know Nick? Is Saint Nick? Of course, he's the Prince of Cyphers. Dun, dun, dun! Nah, it's not that I mean, I guess it's a big twist, but uh, yeah, that's a big twist. We're the Prince of Cyphers now. Why is it a big deal? Well, I guess, let's find out. He was my master at the palace. The palace with the chalice, the flag with the dragon, that's true. The shiny force was dumbfounded. Nick, the humble stranger, was Prince of Cyphers. But Nick wouldn't answer their questions and withdrew into silence. Their trust shaken, the adventurers set sail for the Cypress mainland. And thus ends chapter two of book one. Oh man, what a twist to end it on with a... Uh...
with the um, Nick being the Prince of Cyprus. What does that mean exactly? Is our is our bounds truly broken, or will we just kind of get over it after the next chapter or next battle? Find out next time in the next episode of Shining Force CD. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.